Hello friends, this video on cell cycle and cell division part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us talk about prophase. That is the first step of mitosis. So what happens here? The chromatin threads condense to form chromosomes. Now this was the nucleus which we had so far. Like after the interphase. In interphase what happened? These were the chromatin thread, threads which got replicated. That is why you have one in red color, the other one in blue color. Just to uh, distinguish that okay, one is the replicated one. So the chromatin threads got replicated, the centrioles got replicated and this is the status of the cell as of now. Now here in this phase what happens? The chromatin threads condense to form chromosomes. So what do we mean by condense? Right now the threads are something like this. Now if these threads condense together, that means they become compact. They arrange themselves something like this in this pattern. And this pattern is known as chromosome. And the center at which they are connected to each other, that is known as centromere. I have explained all these things in, the previous, uh, in one of our previous lessons. So I am sure you all know about all these things. So in this phase, chromosomes are formed. So something like this. So here you can see the thread-like structures are gradually getting arranged. So they are like getting compact. And gradually it forms a structure like this. And the central part is known as centromere. And each of these chromosomes. So basically there are two chromosomes which get connected at the centromere. So each of this chromosome is known as a sister chromatid. Because now we will be using these terminologies very often and I have already discussed about these before. So this will in turn, what will happen now? The cytoskeleton disassembles. What is cytoskeleton? The skeleton, skeletal framework of the cell, that is cytoskeleton. What is it made up of? It is made up of microfilaments and microtubules. You, I am sure you remember all these terms when you spoke about uh, the lesson on cell. If not, please review it. So here the cytoskeleton disassembles. So no cytoskeleton is there. So what will happen to the, those microtubules and microfilaments? We will see they will get utilized in some other way. So the centrioles migrate to opposite poles and form a bridge of microtubules called spindle apparatus. This is very, very important. This step is very important. So you saw here that the centrioles had duplicated. Now gradually what will happen is the centrioles will migrate to opposite poles. Let us suppose this is one centriole. The other centriole will migrate here. So the, both the centrioles will migrate to opposite poles and as I said, the uh, chromatin threads have organized into chromosomes. Now the cytoskeleton has disassembled, but those microtubules will now be utilized to form thread-like structures in this fashion, which is known as spindle fibers. Why is it called spindle fibers? Because of its shape. It is known as spindle fibers. So structure like this will arise from the two centrioles which is there on the opposite poles. So this will happen. So you got my point? The cytoskeleton will disassemble. So what will happen to the microtubules of the cytoskeleton? The same thing will form a bridge like structure from the two centrioles on opposite poles. And this is known as spindle apparatus. Now chromosomes attach to spindle apparatus by kinetochore. So what is kinetochore? Now in the structure of chromosome, as I said, the center structure is called centromere. Now over the centromere, you have some hook-like structures which are known as kinetochores. Basically, they are not hooks, but they act like hooks. So what happens is, these, uh, each of these chromosomes will get attached to these spindle fibers at their kinetochores. So kinetochores will act like hook so that it can attach it attach to the spindle fibers. So these are some of the changes which will take place in prophase. So a lot of things will happen in prophase. Firstly, chromatin threads will form condensed to form chromosomes. Cytoskeleton will disassemble and the same microtubules will form bridge-like structures called spindle apparatus. Chromosomes will attach to the spindle apparatus by kinetochores. 
nuclear envelopes start breaking down. So if you see here, at this place you had a complete nuclear envelope, gradually it starts breaking down and finally it vanishes. So the nuclear envelope will also break down. Now when you talk about all these things like kinetochores or the microtubules, they are all made up of proteins. So protein is there everywhere. So now you understand why we said that before the process of cell division start, the cells should be very well prepared for the division to take place. And that is why protein synthesis take place in the G2 phase, that is the second gap phase. So now what happens in the next step that is the metaphase. So in this phase, the nuclear membrane completely disappears. So there it started breaking down and now it is completely gone. Chromosomes assemble at the equator. This is again very, very important. So you saw the chromosomes there, they all attached to the uh, spindle fibers at their kinetochore. So this white color structure which you see here, that is nothing but kinetochore. And these are the spindle fibers. So these are the spindle fibers. So here in this picture you can actually see how it gives the shape of a spindle. So it attaches to these. Now, because of the force exerted by both the centrosomes and also by these fibers, what happens is this uh, chromosomes are gradually arranged at the equator of the cell. And this is known as a metaphase plate because it looks like a plate at the equator and that is why it is termed as metaphase plate. So now another special thing which should be noted here is that if you see this alignment has a special feature. So now here everywhere you see one, two chromosomes, right? So what are these? This is one, this is two. So they are basically same, two copies of the same chromosome. So now these two copies of chromosome or these two sister chromatids are arranged in such a way that one sister chromatid is connected to the spindle fiber of one centriole whereas the other sister chromatid is connected to the spindle fiber of the other centriole. So this spindle fiber is towards this side and this spindle fiber and this chromatid is towards this side. So that is the strategy. This is how it should be arranged at the equator. Now how it gets arranged at the equator that happens due to the counter forces between the microtubules and the kinetochores. That happens because of the forces between them and that is why here you can see the centrioles were not exactly on opposite poles but when they are exactly opposite to each other they make sure that the alignment is in this fashion and formation of metaphase plate take occurs. Now why are the uh, chromosomes arranged in this fashion? So that when both of them are pushed towards opposite poles one chromosome will go this side, I mean one chromatid will go this side, the other sister chromatid will go this side so that the two sister chromatids can get separated. Now the question is why do we want them to separate? We will see that in the next phase. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, Find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.